If you're looking for a flashlight that's cool and cool looking, check this out. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I thought I would show you something that's a little different. This caught my eye. Normally, a flashlight, just based on its looks, wouldn't draw me in. Usually, they're not quite that sexy. But this one is like the Victoria's Secret's angel of flashlights, and it just looked like the real deal. Wubin is a brand I have checked out before and have really liked them, so I'm hoping that there are good things here. But this one is called the X3 white and red light and look at that that looks like a serious piece of outdoor kit to me uh, even though it's very small i just looked at it and i was like man it's not really like anything i've seen before so i definitely want to check it out it almost looks like some sort of high-tech tactical flashlight you can see here we have some translucent like lucite or plastic for the body we have the exposed screws on the back we have a very strong but very flat clip on the back there you can see here we have the two led emitters right up there and man it's just kind of a cool looking thing if nothing else it just drew me in so let me take a look at this and then show you the features all right so i've been checking out this woobin it's kind of impressive looking, just looks the business, but I want to show you here, we get some other stuff in here, which is also impressive, especially for a flashlight. So in here, what we get is a charging cable that's also a lanyard, right? So look at this thing. Got the lanyard here that connects to the flashlight, and we get these little press buttons here. So if I press this, you can see we get USB-C cables. So the cool thing is you are never without a charger because you'll always have this with you. Actually, this is a pretty impressive piece of kit, regardless of the flashlight, okay? So you get that, and I really dig that because you can have these together all the time. Now, also in this box, I wanna pull this out here because we get this little base here. And little plastic base, as you can see, it has the USB-C cable, so you can plug this into an outlet, and then you can take this little guy and drop it right in there and it sticks it's magnetic and the two little ports there will charge via those two little ports so you can definitely charge it like this now the other thing is you can see right there we have a wireless charging pad underneath the plastic here so you can put this on any cheap wireless charger and it will charge up i was actually using this with my iphone magsafe charger and it worked there too not only does it charge there but this little lcd screen is pretty much like the cat's meow it's almost like a DSLR camera, like the high-end cameras, where it shows you the charging state on the little screen there. So that's pretty awesome. Again, nice and small. I love this clip because you can use it like a pocket flashlight here and the lenses are facing forward. But I wanna show you here that this thing twists just like this. And now I have a flashlight with the power switch right up here where my thumb would be. And I can use it like a regular flashlight too. The cool thing about this is now I can put this on the brim of a hat and use it just like a headlamp, or like I said, in my pocket. Now I wanna show you this button right here. This is your power button. And if I just go ahead and turn that on, what we get is this little low light and it shows us the lumen. So that's like one lumen. And then if I tap it again, it goes off. But if I turn it on and then hold it, it goes up to 50 lumens and that is much brighter. Hold it again. 150 lumens very bright and hold it again and it goes back down to one lumen and then i can turn it off with one click now if i hold it while it's off down two seconds we get a red light and you can see that it's 80 lumens and then if i hold this down again it goes down to red light one lumen so what you have is that red light that helps preserve kind of that night vision for you so that is pretty cool and then if i turn that off and we go back to the white light so we get a ton of stuff here it's super versatile it's nice and compact and the light is usually very helpful in the dark. So let's try it when the sun goes down. And this thing glows in the dark. And <laughs> it's pretty impressive. Man, that alone makes it easy to find. Drop this in your tent, in your bag, in the grass. You're going to be able to find it. Now, the other color is not glow in the dark. It's just this kind of white frosted plastic that is. So that is amazing, though. I mean, that's putting out like... Kind of a crazy amount of light. It looks like one of those chem lights. Ooh, I just love it. Everything about this is so cool. All right, outside, fall, darkness, moon up there behind the clouds. So, man, it's cool out here. Here is the Wubin. 
uh, glowing in the dark already. And one of the things that I've done here is I've gone ahead and charged it all up. Ooh, getting some wind out here. Not sure if we'll see anything out here. And I want to show you here. I just want to turn it on one here on its low level. You can see that little LED display there, but I can walk in this. This is perfect for reading maps, finding stuff in your pack, in your campsite, in your tent. Even as a little lantern to play with. And I want to show you here that I've got it set up like a handheld like torch like that. Uh, definitely I could pivot these around so that I could use it like a flashlight. But if I want to just go ahead and hold this down and go up, look at that level right there. That is crazy. And what does it say there? 50 lumens, is that right? Is that, is that all that is? I mean, I can see the trees out there. Pretty awesome. And then if I hold it down again, boom, even brighter, 150. That's what it kind of says right on the display. And look at that, man. I mean, that is, oh my gosh, that is really bright. I love the fact that it kind of illuminates the whole handheld flashlight too. That's pretty awesome. Pretty dope, as the kids might say. And this would be great to like just clip on the front of your shirt and start running or biking, you know? And then if I hold it down, we go down to the lowest setting here. I want to go ahead and just double tap it because now we go up to this turbo. I think this is something like 900, 800 lumens, something like that. But look how wide that is illuminating. Look at the flood on that guy, right? I mean, you know what I'm saying? That is illuminating ton. It's not necessarily putting a hot beam on anything, but man, that just looks incredible. Okay, I'm gonna turn this off here a second, and then I'm going to hold this down so that we go to the red light. And as you know, my spec ops side of me says I love this. You know, don't lose your night vision, don't take away, you know, the ability for your pupils to adjust. And again, I can walk with this, look at stuff with it, uh, but I'm just gonna go ahead and hold this down here and go to the high version, just the two modes on red, right? But man, that's pretty bright. I am illuminating those trees out there. Maybe we'll see that on that red. You know what? In the camera, it looks maybe a little brighter than it does in real life. I am seeing kind of like the red trees and whatnot. So I could definitely see if something's moving. It's giving them a shimmer. But obviously, if I were really trying to identify something, friend or foe, coyote or deer, pizza delivery guy, well, then I would turn it off and I would go to the white, right? and go right up there, but <laughs> all right, this is so cool. I am just so in love with this little X3 here. It's clips to everything. Uh, it swivels so you can use it in a variety of modes. It's glow in the dark, wireless charging. Dude, I've never had a flashlight quite like this and it is something to behold. It's expensive, but not as expensive as some of the other premium flashlights out there. And so if you're just gonna get one, that fits in your pocket, that you can charge anywhere, that does a ton of different stuff and looks the business, I would suggest picking this up. I will put a link to this guy in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out.